questions, and Helen Keller has said some, you know, pretty amazing. Things. Like you got a Mark Twain quote on your yeah. laptop, on your desktop computer screensaver. She's she makes she, she has said, said quotes like that where you're like, that's fucking impressive considering that you know that everyone wrote wrote this broad off as a coyote at one point. <laughs> so I, I mean, I'm just like I can't get my head around it, and it makes me. Of course, being uh, we live in a cynical age, immediately I'm like, well, maybe it wasn't true. It was like she was just kind of like had maybe bad just, vision, <laughs> or maybe no, maybe maybe she didn't do any of the things that people said that she did. Maybe she didn't learn to speak, she didn't learn to write. Annie Sullivan didn't really just break kept her through. In a room. Yeah, they just told people like because there's there's that's the days pre-internet, pre-TV news, pre you know they had printed news, but. You could just tell people shit, like, and people would buy it. You could be like, "Hey, man, like, this chick taught this deaf, dumb, and blind chick to com- to speak, and now she could communicate." But she isn't there, didn't she like go meet the president? I don't know. Did she? I don't know. I'm like, you're, you're, you're. Well, a, I, okay, but it's not like you you're know, a couple strokes ahead of me because yeah, like, there is the, the kids like book stuff going on. Well, I mean, it's not unheard of that a fucking president of this country would, you know, lie or. Or keep some sort of subterfuge going, or create subterfuge. Like, it's. I think it's naive to be like, well, if she met a president and the president no, vouched for it, must like, be true. I'm saying that like, if she attended sort of like public events, mm-hmm. like she went to meet the president, and mm-hmm. obviously it's just like the whole point of her meeting the president is something that would be covered in the press. Sure. Like people were there and just like, hey, you know, fucking newsreel and shit. Totally, newsreel to put the word out there because it's an inspiring story. But there, I mean, but it, maybe it's like you pull the president aside ahead of time and be like, okay, look. She's she'll in, probably bite you. Yeah, <laughs> she's, look, she's as feral as a fucking coyote, I swear to you. She's wild and she smells of poop. But just let's just keep this going. With this water bottle. <laughs> yeah, don't, and keep it going. In fact, this isn't really Helen Keller. This is an actress yeah, pretending is- to be deaf, dumb, and blind. But it's an inspiring story, and we want to inspire people to reach for better, reach for more, and improve themselves or not give up on the handicapped yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that. So, you know, let's keep this thing going. And, and, you know, if you were the president and somebody said that to you, would you be like, fuck that? I'm telling everybody that you're lying. You're lying about Helen Keller. You'd be like, no, this is a good thing for the country. To think that like something like this could be done, it makes the impossible seem achievable and shit like that. I don't know. I have. I'm, I'm not like seriously sitting here doubting it, going like this is all horseshit. You've all been lied to about it. Proposing the color. idea that like, and I only <laughs> propose this idea, or my incredulity about the subject, based on the fact that I just don't understand how you communicate with somebody who cannot hear or see. Like, how do you fucking explain elephant to Helen Keller? Like, you know, and it, without having an elephant there. Like, if you had an elephant and you took her, because she was very tactile, yeah, you, to, you took her to an elephant and you were, like, you know, f- making her feel it and shit, and giving her the trunk, and then you write the word, the sign word, you sign the word elephant in her hand, yeah. then she's got some basis. So if she's like, okay, so an elephant is this thing that's bigger than me. I mean, that's the thing. Like, she can't even, she can't even in her mind go... It is a thing. She doesn't have the word for thing. She had no language whatsoever. So I, it, it boggles my mind. Like, how do you explain that Annie Sullivan had to give this woman, this Helen Keller chick, every piece of language she ever had? Like, you think about you have a kid. It, it, to me, it's like, it's like teaching. It, it would have been like akin to teaching Wolfie to fucking speak by taking his paw and fucking doing at least wolfie'd have the edge and as much as wolfie could see shit and hear shit and you can scream like elephant in his ear and he'd be like all right i get it i get it <laughs> but like it's I, I just don't understand how like it, i had a kid i still have a kid yeah you know it was very easy to explain elephant to her i showed her a picture of an elephant and she, we were halfway there and then i would say elephant and she would say i'm fine and then you know over time she got to the pronunciation and then but she had a visual picture an image reference. helen keller had no visual image or reference for any of the things she can't you can't explain you how do you give somebody a sentence like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dogs when she doesn't know what any of those things are well i mean like you we were talking like we said the other night it's like you immediately jump to elephant <laughs> which is like you I know do. the That's... first thing that the first thing the miracle workers like forget about the fork <laughs> forget about <laughs> air, forget about air water you me <laughs> let's go to the elephant um, I mean, that's because that's like, that's a tough, if you've never seen one and you can't hear a description of what an elephant is, how do you get your head around, like, there's this massive lumbering form on four legs that has a big nose and it eats peanuts and, you know, very big, big as a house and friendly in disposition unless you get them pissed off then they trample on you and shit and people hunt them for their eyes. It's like, 
all that information that I just fucking conveyed right there, you need reference points for everything, well, including the articles like just the, a, and shit like that. Well, there's probably a lot of text about the case. <laughs> that would all I really should just <laughs> turn to the fucking Wikipedia and read about it, but um, I thought maybe you would have the answer. I mean, sure, but you have to like you. You get a word picture in your head. I say butterfly. One of two things happens. You see a butterfly, or you see the word butterfly in your head. Um, but you get a picture. You get a, 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 a mind a mind image. But as a child... This chick had no mind image whatsoever. But as a child, as a baby, if you liken it to that, it's right. like the baby cries and something happens. Right, but a baby can see shit. But, but but it doesn't matter if they can see it. It's just like the baby cries and it gets the bottle. The baby cries and this happens. It's not like the baby's sitting there in his mind. And mm -hmm. like what you do is you keep putting everything in the words where mm -hmm. it's like the person, the baby's going like, if I cry, blah, blah, blah. They don't right. know the word for cry. They don't know the word for bottle. It's just instinctual. Yeah, they don't have any language. They're just trying to you're, communicate. You're going on record as saying that Helen Keller is a big fat baby. She was. I That's mean, very disrespectful. <laughs> Helen Keller achieved many, many trying things. Trying to push off your idea that it's all <laughs> fake and making me the bad guy. I mean, I'm really astounded and kind of insulted. We should end Smodcast now. I mean, uh, this, you don't make fun of Helen Keller. Helen Keller apparently lived with Annie Sullivan for the rest of her life. I, I, I'd buy that. I mean, right? Like, who else could she talk to? Well, Except I mean, it's like they had, I mean, like, obviously, like, they developed a way to communicate. That was that was like you know something specific to them. I'm sure somebody else could try to add sign language, mm -hmm. but also I'm sure that it's like think about it. Like the bond that must have been established between those two must right. have been like incredible on both sides. Where it's like you know they you know and like for Helen Keller once again like to me to have some the to have somebody mm -hmm. step forward and actually try to engage you. Mm -hmm. Um, must have been like you know why would like why would it occur to you to be like all right I'm gonna move on <laughs> yeah totally and 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 if you're Annie Sullivan you can't quit that job because you're no. the only that person's only you're, link to the you world you gotta get to elephant <laughs> exactly someday. you're like one day I'm gonna fucking explain elephant to this deaf dumb <laughs> blind motherfucker she's trying my patience she don't it's not like you know let's say you have a, a kid that's born physically challenged like can't walk or something like that it's like you know you, you're not like all right let's well, shit on the rocks or something. You're like, you know, we there's we can still communicate with the kid, and we can still. Well, at that point, them. there was like there there had been blind people, mm -hmm. people that had been blind, and I think that people had like I'm, I'm sure at that point there must have been people that were born deaf and blind prior to Helen Keller. I'm sure that like you know if you look at a majority of them, it's like a lot of them were like probably put in institutions and Oof. stuff like that because nobody could because they didn't know what to do with them. yeah that's why it's that's why the book isn't called the the pretty good worker. <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember we were talking, we were having the same conversation with John Gordon at dinner, and John Gordon looked at me like just fucking aghast when I was just like, maybe it was all a hoax and shit, and he was just like, that, what are you, a Holocaust denier? And I was like, no, dude, like I don't, I don't deny the Holocaust because I can understand man's aggression toward man. Like I, I mean, I don't condone it, but I get it. I've seen fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. people hit people, and like I get aggression, and... That was just, and, that, and, and it I happens get all the time, totally. Like and I understand fucking um, genocide uh, all over the place. That and and just you know how something steamrolls from like the Jews got more than we got. Let's get rid of the Jews and take what they got. Like that's just fucking silly, stupid, evil human nature. Yeah, greedy, wanton. I cannot. I have no way to wrap my head around somebody who is like practically in a fucking Skinner box from day one who suddenly develops language. And when I say suddenly, who knows how long it took. I really should read that little comic book. <laughs> or perhaps <laughs> branch out and read a, a novel anybody, about it. Or, you know, a text of some anybody, sort. If anybody, you know, needs to read that book. It, it must be me. It's so weird because until, like, it was brought up, I just you just buy that story. Yeah. It's one of those stories that you're just like, yeah, I see no reason to, to disagree with this. I'm a child, you know, I'm you're trusting, you're not you're very naive, so you don't know about, you know, how duplicitous people can be or how yeah. people will spin something to be a bit more than it means or what it what really was. Um, history is all a sense of perspective, you know, shit like that. So when they tell you like George Washington was a good man, who founded the United States, the first president of the United States of America, you're like, right on, George Washington, good man. And then years later, somebody's like, he owned slaves. Yeah. And, you know, he probably fucked around on his wife. And, you know, shit like that comes later. 
Helen Keller is one of those things where you're just like, all right, man, this deaf, dumb, and blind chick learned to communicate. And she, has some, and, and she owns slaves. <laughs> she, yeah, nobody, nobody told me that yet. Where they're like, Helen Keller has she slaves. She owns blind like, oh. slaves. <laughs> <laughs> she subjugated those that she felt subjugated by. Once you accept the fact that she could be spoken to in her hand, mm-hmm. then you're like, you get it. You're fine. And then don't you feel like a degree of shame because the shit I do with my hand is so lame in comparison. Like you I put my to your dick. I <laughs> cock in it. Exactly. It's like my, I'm the miracle worker for my cock, you know, where I put my hand on my dick and I make things happen. It's like a magic wand and I make it you dick sneeze to in my wife front. Is. Totally. I'm like, check this out. This is an elephant. This is how an elephant jerks off. This chick, like, through her hand and through fucking Annie Sullivan's hands, we're able to open up a world that had not existed up until that.